Welcome back guys, I'm Mark Wong and today we are in the tech room, your trusty companion for all things tech. Whether you're a tech enthusiast looking for the latest innovations or a casual user seeking honest reviews, you've come to the right place. Join us as we dive deep into the realm of gadgets, gaming consoles, PCs, and more. In this video, we will be reviewing the Asus ROG Ally. This highly regarded hybrid portable gaming console draws comparisons to both the Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch, but just how similar are they really well, let's find out. To help you further, there are timestamps and direct links to all the products in the description below. So let's get started. First, let's talk about design and first impressions. The ROG Ally has a futuristic design with sharp lines and a solid feel. The buttons and controls are ergonomically placed, making it comfortable to hold and easy to use. The screen is a good size of seven inches, sitting right in the middle of the smaller Nintendo Switch and slightly larger Steam Deck. Now, there's something I wanna point out. At first glance, I mistook the docking station for another component of the device. So if you're looking to enjoy docked gameplay sessions for this device, it might be best to look for an aftermarket option. The ROG Ally itself is a striking piece of technology right out of the box. Even with the protective plastic still on, you can see the device's sleek design and high quality build. The metallic stripe along the edge catches, the light beautifully reflecting a rainbow of colors that give it a futuristic and premium look. Let's start with the design details. The ROG name is elegantly engraved on the palm rest adding a touch of sophistication and branding that fans will appreciate. The power button is surrounded by a metallic ring, making it stand out and adding to the overall high-end feel of the device. The triggers and shoulder buttons feature textured edges, ensuring a comfortable and secure grip during intense gaming sessions. This texturing not only looks cool, but also provides a functional benefit by preventing your fingers from slipping. One of the standout features of the ROG Ally is the back paddles. They're ergonomically shaped to accommodate various finger motions, providing a unique and balanced grip. This design allows for more control and flexibility while gaming, giving you an edge in fast-paced games. The screen is another highlight of the ROG Ally. The bezel is so well-designed that it feels like the display extends right to the edges of the device, offering an immersive viewing experience. The seven inch 1080p screen is not just about size and resolution. It's also capable of running at an impressive 120 Hertz. For fighting game enthusiasts, this is actually quite exciting. This is because a high refresh rate means low lag gameplay, providing a smooth and responsive experience that harks back to the CRT era, known for its minimal input lag and quick response times. Now, another major advantage of the ROG Ally is that it runs on Windows. This is a strategic move to avoid the potential delays and compatibility issues associated with the Steam Deck's Linux-based system. With Windows, you have a more familiar and versatile operating system ensuring better compatibility with a wide range of games and applications. This means less hassle and more gaming right out of the box. As we dive into the features of the ROG Ally, I think it's best to start with the directional controls. First up, we have the analog sticks. They feel solid and responsive, giving you precise control over your movements. They also include L3 and R3 buttons, adding extra functionality for those complex game commands. Next, let's talk about the D-pad. It's well positioned and designed with fighting games in mind. The layout ensures that you can execute precise moves without the need for an external arcade stick or gamepad, making it perfect for on-the-go gaming. The start and select buttons are nicely tactile and clicky, offering a satisfying response every time you press them. This attention to detail continues with the action buttons. While they aren't mechanical, they have a satisfying click that gives good feedback during gameplay. However, keep in mind that this clicking sound might be a bit noisy for those late night gaming sessions when you're trying to keep things quiet. Now, let's move along the top of the device. Here you'll find several important controls and ports. The power buttons conveniently locate for easy access and the volume switch allows for quick adjustments during gameplay. The docking port is integrated with a USB-C port, providing both charging and connectivity options. There's also an SD card slot, giving you the flexibility to expand your storage for more games and media. A standout feature is the headphone jack, which has become a rarity in recent times. This inclusion is a nod to gamers who prefer wired audio for its reliability and quality. Alongside the headphone jack are the speaker grills, ensuring robust sound output for an immersive gaming experience. Adding to the device's aesthetic appeal are the palm rest grips, which feature holographic emblems. These emblems add a very nice personal touch to the device, which I totally appreciate. Last but not least, let's talk about specs and gaming performance. Powered by an AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme Processor, featuring eight cores based on the Zen 4 architecture with support for simultaneous multi-threading, the device boasts a total of 16 threads. 
In layman's terms, this configuration ensures robust processing power for smooth gameplay for most AAA games out there as long as it's set to turbo mode. As for graphics, the device is powered by an AMD Radeon RDNA 3 architecture based graphics unit with four gigabytes of VRAM and 12 compute units. And with a whopping 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, this device is mighty impressive for a handheld device. So whether you're into competitive FPS or immersive RPGs, the ROG Ally can pretty much handle what you've got to throw at it. Just to put these specs into real world context, we downloaded Steam on the device and played the Street Fighter 6 demo right off the bat. The screen impressed us. It's bright, vibrant, and provides an immersive gaming experience. Although we had to adjust the graphics settings to 720p for optimal performance at 60 frames per second, the gameplay remains smooth and responsive. Where the ROG Ally shines with this game is its feel for the controls. The buttons are incredibly comfortable and well-suited for executing technical motions, as mentioned earlier. This is crucial for a fighting game like Street Fighter VI. Every punch, kick, and combo felt precise and natural, thanks to the well-designed D-pad and action buttons. For Cyberpunk 2077, the story isn't quite the same. I found that the ROG Ally achieves around 42 frames per second on native 1080p resolution with low settings. While this is already fine by me as it is my preferred sweet spot to play the game, you can set fidelity FX super resolution to quality so the frame rates can improve slightly with smoother gameplay. Despite this, however, it still has a hard time sticking to 60 frames per second, hovering from 50 to 60 with the occasional dips now and then. Elden Ring performs better across the board on the ROG Ally. At 1080p, the device maintains smooth gameplay with medium graphic settings, delivering a consistent 50 to 60 frames per second. Switching to turbo mode increases the frame rate slightly to 55 to 60 FPS, highlighting the unit's ability to handle moderate settings with ease. Overall, Elden Ring's optimization for the Asus ROG Ally is evident in its sharp visuals and smooth gameplay, regardless of the graphics setting chosen. To end the review, I'd like to highlight that the standout aspect of the ROG Ally is its power in a portable form factor. Despite being slightly larger than a Nintendo Switch, it remains highly portable and easy to carry around. This makes it a fantastic option for gamers who want to take their gaming on the go without sacrificing performance. Just a word of caution for people who are looking to find a long lasting handheld gaming device, the ROG Ally can provide you with one to two hours of battery at best in turbo mode. So this might not be a good match for you if you value great battery life. Where the ROG Ally truly excels, however, is in its impressive performance and exceptional user experience. With these strengths in mind, you can be confident in your decision to invest in this device. And there you have it, folks. Our review of the Asus ROG Ally. Do you like this video and it helped you in any way? Please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button. If you have a question or a product you want us to review, be sure to drop your recommendations in the comments below. Until next time, this is Mark signing off, reminding you to stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our tech rooms great.